Welcome back, guys. So today we are going to discuss a lick that Grant Green plays in this solo on uh, what is this thing called love? Literally 13 times. Um, we're going to look at some different variations, and if you stick around to the end, I'll throw in a bonus lick that he plays a couple times throughout that I think is really cool, and we'll discuss that at the end. There is a PDF for this, which you can check out in the description below. Um, and let's get into it. So this is his opening line in his solo, um, and I'll play it for you. So he goes. And with that lick, with that shape, we're going to look at all the different variations and how he implements that to get a ton of material for his solo. Sometimes playing it exactly like that, sometimes changing key, sometimes changing the rhythm, and we're gonna discuss that and, and show you how you can take a line like this and then really implement it um, as a theme for your solo and then create variations on that. So like I just showed you, the first one is he's taking this triplet and then he goes up to that root. We're playing this over like a C7 flat nine, C7 altered. Going back down to target the third in this first example. So the way I like to think about this lick is it starts on the fifth of the dominant chord. So if we're on C7, starting on G. It's also a pretty fast tune. I think it's around 260 BPM, um, the way Grant Green's playing it. So having some vocabulary like this is super helpful when you have to play an up-tempo tune. All right, so let's look at the first variation. So in this case, he's taking this last part with that flat nine and the root, and he goes one, two. So one, two. Landing on that A flat for F minor. So a key part of all these variations is I want you to just recognize the shape and the notes he's using here, sort of like a palette, and then he's deciding where the target note or where his end of the phrase will be, depending on where the chord's going, if it's staying on C7 or if it goes to F7 or goes to F minor, and that's really the part that's changing. But the general shape is using these um, notes with the right he's going around that so looking at our second variation he's taking a similar phrase starting on that d flat and we just have some rhythmic variation here so instead of using it like an eighth note line it goes one two more at tempo one two still using that that phrase that that little that part and then he lands on the a flat for f minor all right going to our next variation it's just like this standard theme that he opened his solo with except instead of targeting that e with for c7 he goes to an a flat so we start off exactly the same instead of continuing down we go g a flat and that lets him target that a flat for f minor that's our first one now we have this one. So hopefully you can start to see how he's using that same shape and altering it in different ways um, to just get a lot of material out of this. So for variation number four, what's cool here is he actually is using the same lick, but now over G7 in the song when it goes to G7. So if we're on G7, we'll start on the fifth, which is D. So he's playing it down here. And he goes to um, back down to the fifth. So what you want to do here, just like with all the other lines I've been discussing in previous videos, we want to associate that line with the chord shape that we're thinking of for this phrase. So in the case of up here, we had that C altered. I, I would think of that one. Now we're down here on G7. I'm thinking of this same shape. That way, when I'm in that position, um, that's what I associate it with. For our fifth variation, we're going to take that last part of the line basically from this root to the flat nine, back down, going to the third, and he's gonna play it up here. And we have, again, a slightly different rhythm for it. So it's going to the third for G7. So you can think about it like this this shape, or this, this G7 shape. So that's a really nice one. In this case, we're starting on the root of the dominant chord, because he's not starting on that fifth with the lead in. He's just starting on that part. Play it in both positions if you'd like. 
So for the sixth variation, he's using that same C altered phrase, starting with that um, triplet, starting on G, except we're playing it down here, and it's being superimposed not over C altered, but over like an F minor. Um, so you could think about it like starting on the ninth. So starting on G is the ninth of F, instead of the fifth of C altered, or C dominant. And we start the same way with this, but instead of going up to the C and D flat, he's going, You can see I was using that same idea of uh, this triplet up front. And then landing on that E natural really gives you um, a lot of options still on F minor. So that is it for the six variations. You guys will definitely want to check out the track um, so you can hear all of these variations in this lick used um, in a bunch of ways. Um, but I promised you an extra bonus lick and this is a really cool one that he does. Um, it's similar to some other ones I've heard guitars like George Benson do, um, and it, it goes like this. So this is over a C minor, going to F7, so we're going to land up on that A natural, the third. And we have a few variations for this, real quick. So for this first variation of this bonus lick, we start on the downbeat, and we have... ending on that A is kind of an anticipation. One more time. Really nice. I think about it like this. It's, we're playing around this G minor seven shape. Right, so any, any variation of that rhythmically will work. That one or the going to the F7 there. So for this final phrase, it's that same shape of, right? But we're going to play that arpeggio sort of backwards. And we start here, landing on that C. So that is it for this lesson. As always, you guys can check out the description for the PDF um, and let me know any comments or questions you have below. Um, I love hearing from you guys, and I appreciate all of you guys that have reached out and sent me videos or um, pictures of you guys checking out this material. I'm glad you guys are getting a lot out of it, and I'll see you in the next video.